And now for part two of Hulk. <laughs> Time. Oh, okay. That we Thanks for listening to the end. And talk and talk. <laughs> Did you see there's some couple of people that have joined the forums in the last little while and one of them's like, yeah, I've been going through your back catalog and I always listen to the end, even though you think nobody does. Aww. It's like my favorite part is the stories, but I still love what you guys have to say afterwards a whole lot. Hulk no believe. Hey, everybody. Uh, thanks for bearing with us and still listening. Uh, we have a return guest here in the studio with us today. Studio. Huh. You mind I cook burrito in your studio while talking? Wow, he's got a point there. Hey, my last two kids were conceived in this kitchen. Show a little more respect. Ew. Uh, we welcome once again the Incredible Hulk. Thank you, middle-sized Anklevich. It's bit... Uh, never mind. So, Hulk, have you heard of our show? The Drabblecast? Yes, of course Hulk hear of it. Well, actually, that's... Uh... Hulk big fan, too. Strange stories for strange listeners. Funny banjo songs. Uh, Hulk, just, I... just let it go, Rish. All right. Let's get on with the interview. Wait, after the last one, I can hear hundreds of people turning the podcast off. Rish, hundreds of people don't even listen to the podcast. Well, you know what I mean. And technically, billions of people don't even listen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, with us once again, the Incredible Hulk. Thanks for coming back, Hulk. I know come back for you, puny outfield. I come back for Big's toilet. Oh, no, I just replaced the old one. Hulk hope porcelain's stronger on this one. Yeah, so do I. So, Hulk, uh, last time you were here, uh, we talked to you a little bit about Avengers. Yes, Avengers, available September 25th on DVD and Blu-ray. Not to get on Redbox. Not to borrow from fat ex-sister-in-law. Buy movie. Do you get a portion of the grosses on that? Adjusted grosses after recoup, not net. Are there any special treats on the DVD that we should check out? Special edition replace Hulk's fists with walkie-talkies. That little joke. No, seriously. Buy Avengers movie on first day, or Hulk smash. Do you have a Blu-ray player, Hulk? Blu-ray comes standard on PlayStation 3. So, what do you think makes Avengers worth buying, Hulk? Because Hulk say so. I make offer you can't refuse like Godfather. I put Beta Ray Bill's head in bed with you as wake-up surprise. Yes, but I don't, I don't like to buy movies anymore. I, I'm a cheap douche. What makes Avengers something to watch again and again? Movie filled with character moments. Treat all characters like main character. Naked lady from Equus, Nick Fury's boss. Hulk punch out Chitari War Serpent. Girl who play Maria Hill pretty. But plus, there's that scene where you bash the floor with Loki. That would be fun to watch frame by frame. This true statement. Oh, you know, that reminds me. My cousin and I were arguing whether you were actually trying to kill Loki in that scene. You wrong in argument. Yeah, but you don't know which side I was arguing. Your side wrong. See, I was saying that... No, 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 sorry. He was saying that you were just trying to take Loki out. That the banner side of you was tempering your actions and... Hulk make joke, but you not laugh. And I was saying that, that what you did would have killed anybody else. But because Loki's a god, he... Puny Outfield keeps talking. Interrupts Hulk. He does it to me all the time, too, Hulk. He, he thinks it's his show. Oh, that reminds me. I saw the Man of Steel panel at Comic-Con last month. When you were here, you said that Batman couldn't beat you in a fight. I never say that. What? You think Batman could beat you? Oh, hell no. Batman just regular guy. Do we not have this conversation already? Batman puny human. Sure, he's smart. But Stephen Hawking smart too. Stephen Hawking no beat Hulk in battle. Yes, but Superman... What about him? How Comic-Con footage look? Uh, more CG than you. That too bad. CG is tool, not entire toolbox. Are you a fan of Superman? Yes. He never make any money, saving world from Solomon Grundy. You know, my nephew is always asking me who would win in a fight between you. Hulk never meet Outfield's nephew, but safe bet is on Hulk. No, he means between you and Superman. Oh. Superman is strong. Superman move planets. He trick-educated with hat and glasses. He pretty much God. 
Oh, don't tell that to Clay Duggar. No, God with small G, not big G. So, you're saying Superman would win? Maybe. But Superman always play fair. Hulk no play fair. What do you mean? Like, Hulk once lose to Thor because Thor used Thunderhammer to hit Hulk in green grape basket. This no something Superman would do in fight. Wow, that sounds pretty painful. Yes, nuts hurt so bad Hulk turned briefly into Billy Batson. Wait, wait, that's Captain Marvel, isn't it? Yes, and Hulk when Thunderhammer strike his junk. <laughs> okay, uh, next question. Uh, what do you watch for entertainment? Hulk like Family Guy and NCIS Los Angeles. What about Big Bang Theory? There was an episode once where Sheldon dressed up as you to go to a costume party, but got raped by a homeless man in a parking garage? Hulk no watch Big Bang Theory. Fuck Big Bang Theory. Hulk, millions of people watch Big Bang Theory. Millions of people are f***ing idiots. Numbers no mean anything. Millions of people bite own toenails. Well, no, no, I, I think what Big is trying to say... Stop talking. Hulk not smartest hero. But Hulk smart enough not to watch show that say green people bunch of idiots. It's not easy being green, they say. No change subject. You think legions of Hebrew people watch weekly series called Big Nose Jews Worth Poop and Pee? Show not made for geeks. Show mocking geeks, saying they worthless, backward, mouth-breathing, underweight, brainiac man-boys worshipping nonsense. Good only to make middle America laugh and feel better about themselves. Would women watch a show called Bitches Ain't Shit But Hoes and- Rish Outfield not talk about things he not understand. Yeah, Hulk's got a point there. Hulk have time for one more question. Then Hulk have to go. Uh, where do you have to go? Hulk have to sign paper. Me going to be poster boy for Earth Day. Get it? Because Hulk green. Well, that's too bad. I, I wanted to ask you more about the summer movies this year. Hulk enjoy Madagascar 3. Me like racist zebra with funny wig. True dat, Hulk, true dat. Me try to watch Battleship movie, but leave after one hour. There no Battleship. Oh, shoot, you just missed it. Did you uh, walk out of Dark Shadows because there weren't any Dark Shadows? Hulk not see that. Ebert give it bad review. What about the new Total Recall? Yes, Hulk see that because curious about three boobed woman. But CG give Hulk headache. What about the boobs? That what Hulk talking about. Mm. Did you see that movie, The Watch? No. Violence against innocent cow in trailer make Hulk sad. <laughs> Big and I cried during Brave. I cried all through Amazing Spider-Man. You two couple of pussies. Hulk never cry at movie. But, but you just said that the cow... Ah, uh, Hulk just used that as excuse not to see tired Ben Stiller Vince Vaughn vehicle. So what does make the Hulk cry? Oh, onions, when stub pinky toe, people who leave animals or babies in hot cars and forget them, hot peppers, old Willie Nelson songs. Okay. Obese children, people who say global warming is liberal propaganda as excuse oh, to be lazy oh. and selfish. <laughs> Direct TV right. drop Hulk's favorite channel. Uh, people, okay, Hulk, I think... People who like Call Me Maybe song in non-ironic way. <laughs> When okay. stores not okay. carry okay. purple pants. Uh, People who use personal beliefs to curtail rights of others. People who love Dane Cook comedy. Lots, lots the way Disney Channel movies. take preteen girls and make them loud and sexy. This year, last season of Breaking Bad. Barbara Streisand's okay. song, Way We Were, okay. when she talk about scattered pictures of smiles we left behind. Wow. Okay, Hulk, uh, you've given us a lot to think about. That why Hulk here, little Anklevich. That why Hulk here. But we want to thank our special guest for coming in today, uh, and we really appreciate you not smashing us. It touch and go there for a minute, but Hulk much calmer now than when younger. Oh, uh, and thanks for replacing my toilet. And good luck with you journey into podcast, boys. Uh, we're actually uh, the Doom Steve here. That nonsense word. You change podcast name. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll consider it. Hulk must go now. You take care. You too. <sighs> no place like home. 
He was too proud to call for you when he got sick, Ty. But I knew he wanted to see you. <laughs> well, if it isn't the little stooge come home at last. Don't you see it yet? Ty's got himself in a lot of trouble for coming here. Come tomorrow, there's gonna be a lynch mob outside our door. How long does he have? It'll be tonight. It's a hard thing, Ty, to come home like this. Thank you for sending for me by. Watch that monster, boy. He's here for our souls. But I've been ready for him. Been expecting you back. It's a bloody shame folks gotta hold on to what scares them so tight, tight. Of all the times to bring one of them here. Of all the damn times. Harlan's Wake by John Miro. Find this and other full cast stories at the Doonstief Audio Fiction Magazine. The music for this trailer is courtesy of Kevin McLeod at Incompetech.com. <laughs>